I say the regulators are doing the right thing, and I think the regulators should stick to their guns, and I think that the regulators have let companies like Bullseye Glass get away with a lot of self-policing. I think the answer is no, and I hope the state continues to stay with it. No. That is a failure of state agencies. That's been a failure of state agencies across the United States. It's been a failure of the EPA. I'd like to know. Uh, it's easy to sit here and blame, which I don't always want to do because it's a very frustrating situation. We're well aware of a lot of hexavalent chromium sites in and around Portland, let alone across the United States. Our agencies are overburdened. They're understaffed. They're underfunded. We are not making finding these polluted sites our priority. Hopefully, the state of Oregon will begin to do that now. It should have begun yesterday, but you know what? If we can start doing it today, we're that much better off. You know, I have people from 126 different countries and territories contact me every single day. I listen to the people. I believe the people. Even when I did my work back in Hinckley, California, it didn't make sense to me that these people were, what, so bored? They had nothing better to do than make up these crazy stories about pollution. It's the same thing that's true here. People that live in this environment, they note changes. They see changes. They smell changes. It's their environment, and we tend to not listen to them, but I do. Well, that's really very interesting because they do downplay it, but didn't I read in the paper yesterday they found what they appears to be a cancer cluster here? So to the state of Oregon, which is it? You can't have it both ways. You need to be transparent with these people. And you didn't just find a cluster and have a study done in a matter of a week. You've known something for a while. See, that's the problem. It's the deception and it's the lack of transparency that ruin our lives. And that has to stop.